Hey guys, it's Sarah and today we are going to talk about some plans that I have for the month of July for reading. Now July is going to be interesting because as you guys know we are moving. We are currently like stuff is getting packed up and so a lot of my reading is going to be Kindle books or audiobooks because I'm not taking very many physical books with me while we're traveling on our move. Our move is going to be pretty quick. We do expect to kind of have a door to door. You know, we already have a house in Rhode Island waiting for us. Um, so when we leave here, we're driving up there and we should get our stuff very soon after. So we're not planning to be without our stuff for very long. But I didn't want to take too many physical books with me just because I want to save some space, you know, in a car and everything. So I am taking two physical books with me. I can fit them both in my big book sleeve and then everything else will be Kindle and audiobooks, at least until we get our stuff and can unpack everything. I'll go ahead and show you the two physical books that I plan on taking with me. Now, um... We have moved, this is our sixth time moving now. <laughs> so this is not new for us. We know how to do all this. And I do know that when we are moving and we are very busy and a lot of things are happening and it's overwhelming, I can't read really dense, long, crazy books. I have to read short, light, fluffy. I don't have to think too much while I'm reading them. <laughs> books that I know I can kind of read quickly and, um, won't be kind of bogged down by a lot of information, like just nice, light, fluffy, fun books is what I need to be reading. So um, I picked two books off of my shelf to take with me. They're both fairly short, and I know that they are both books that I will get through quickly. And the first one is The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. Well, Christina Lauren, it's very short. This is um, their new release, and I'm super excited to read this one. So I'm going to take this one with me. I'm also going to take The Revolution of Ivy by Amy Engel. And this is the second book in the Ivy duology. I read the first one last year and absolutely loved it. I flew through it, I think, in two days. It was such a quick read. I loved it. And I definitely want to read the conclusion um, because I just really want to. And I want more Bishop in my life. He's one of my my book boyfriends. Um, so I really want to get back and like see what he's doing and what he's going to help Ivy with after the end of the last book. And um, this is definitely something that I can easily put on my 20 series in 2020 as I finished because this is the conclusion to it. So um, and I know it's something that I'm going to enjoy and that I can get through it really easily. Now I want to talk about some Kindle books that I know I have coming up. I kind of have a list of things coming up. The first one is going to be The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. This is book number three in the Girl Meets Duke series. I have it on hold from my library. I'm the next in line to get it. Whoever still has it in front of me is taking their sweet time and I'm like, come on, it does not take you this long to read this book. You should have this done really fast. So I'm very impatiently waiting for that to be available to me, but I'm next up. So I will get it very, very soon. So I will be reading it definitely for the month of July and I'm just like... I can't wait to get my grabby hands on it. And then I do have four arcs to read for the month of August. Yeah, you heard me. Look at Sarah reading ahead. Isn't that amazing? Um, so since I'm going to be reading mostly on my Kindle anyway, I might as well take advantage of that and read the arcs that I have for August and that way I'm ready for them. So I'm um, kind of taking this time to get a little bit ahead on my arcs was a really good idea, I think, because now I'm ready for August. So one that I'm currently reading is The Search Party by Simon Lalick. I am about 25% into this one right now, and I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, it is about a girl who goes missing. Um, it's set in London, and this girl goes missing in the woods, and there is a set of five of her friends who form their own little search party. They're teenagers. They form a search party to go and search for her on their own. Nobody knows where they're going. They're just doing this. And um, something really bad happens on their search. Um, one of them dies and you're kind of seeing the aftermath and then, you know, kind of flashbacks are leading up to what actually happened. Um, and it's told from the perspective of the detective who was trying to find this girl and now who is involved in um, investigating what happened with them as well. So it's been very interesting so far. I am enjoying it. Then I have Louisiana Lucky. This is by Julie Pennell. Um, and I got this one a while ago from NetGalley and I can't fully remember the premise of it. I know that it's an adult contemporary 
And I think that's all like, I don't really know anything. So I'm going to go into a blind, I'm going to see what it is. But I know that I was approached about it. And I accepted it. So I was interested in it when I, got, I was reached out to. So we'll see how that goes. But an adult contemporary, like, that's going to be what I'm looking for. And then I have The Lost Jewels by Kirstie Manning. And this one is a historical fiction. And I believe it follows the crown jewels of the royal family somehow. And they end up in the care of someone who may not have any ties to the royal family, at least that they know of. And so I think it's like a dual timeline thing as well. Um, I just got this recently. So I'm very interested to see what that's all about. And I have No Offense by Meg Cabot. This is actually book number two. It's a companion to um, another book that I will talk about here in a second. And um, it's, a, it's an adult contemporary romance. And this one follows a librarian. So that's all I needed to know. <laughs> um, it doesn't have super high ratings right now on Goodreads. It hasn't come out yet. Obviously, it comes out in August. Um, but the ratings so far are not all that great. So I'm going to go into it with a little bit kind of lower expectations. So we'll see how that goes. But you know, another contemporary, definitely something I can get through quickly. And piggybacking off that one, I'm actually going to be listening to No Judgments by Meg Cabot. This is the first book. And I can't remember. Um, it's called Little Bridge Isle, I think. And it is set in Florida. It's set in the Florida Keys, I believe. And this one follows um, a woman who is, I think, vacationing in the Florida Keys, and then a hurricane hits while she's there. And then she ends up um, rescuing a bunch of animals and dog, I think mostly dogs who were stranded. And it's like no judgments because that was kind of her slogan. Like, if you can't care for your dog or you can't take your dog with you, bring them to me. No judgments. You know, I will care for your people. I will care for your pets. And um, so that really got me interested in it for sure. I just haven't read it yet. I got this last year. And I when I got No Offense, I was like, okay, I definitely want to read No Offense because that follows a librarian. It's set in the same town. So I need to read this one first, though. <laughs> I want to read the first one. So I have this on hold on audio from my library. Again, I am next in line for that one, too. So as soon as it becomes available, it will be mine. So I will be listening to this as soon as that comes up. And for more audio books. So oh, since we're moving and we're driving and um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time, you know, unpacking and doing all that stuff, I'm going to be listening to a lot of audiobooks. I will probably have an audiobook going almost constantly, <laughs> most likely. And so an audiobook that I'm currently reading right now or listening to is The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. This is book number two in her Kamoran Strike series. And I really love The Cuckoo's Calling. I read that earlier this year. I really loved it. So I, I knew I wanted to read the entire series. So I'm currently listening to The Silkworm. They are really good on audio. Um, I listened to the first one as well. And I have decided I'm going to go ahead and listen to all these books. So um, I'm currently listening to this one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of the series on my TBR for listening. I think I'm just going to try to binge these if I can while we're moving. I think that would be very easy for me to do. So this is current and then this should be coming up next and then hopefully this one too. So I would love to be able to get through all these because book number five comes out in September. So it would be nice to be ready to read that when that one comes out. Um, gosh, this one is so huge. That is ginormous. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, the Corn Strike series will hopefully be something that I binge on audio. Okay, guys, that is it. Those are my plans for July. As of right now, I may get to more if I can. That would be amazing if I could. I'm just not going to commit to anything, obviously, because I don't know how it's going to go. But I know that it will be a lot of Kindle books and a lot of audiobooks. Definitely, that's going to be the majority bulk of my July reading for sure. But okay, that's going to be it for me right now. Um, like I said, we're moving. We're like, whew, this is actually my last video that I'm pre-filming <laughs> before we're heading out. But I do have videos pre-filmed, uploaded, ready to go through the end of July. So you will still see me coming from here through the month of July. And then come August, I will be in Rhode Island filming from there. So I wanted to give myself enough time to get up there, get settled. And my filming area will probably want to be one of the first places I set up in our new house. I'm really excited about that. So um, yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoy what's coming up for the month of July. Please let me know what you're planning to read. I would love to know that as well. And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.